Dr. B.T. Williams and his wife are bishops, Bishop Courtney Anderson, Bishop Garcia Edwards and their family are seen a pastor, Pastor Michael Thompson and his beautiful wife, Minister Isaac Thompson, and our host pastor, Pastor Kevin Allen, his wife and his lovely son. You say to Christ a special good morning. Happy good morning to you all. And all the viewers on Facebook and YouTube, welcome to our Good Friday morning service. Amen.
so far away. And we exchange it one day for a crowd. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let us go to the throne of grace this morning. Father,
for this season. We could have been otherwise minded this morning. But despite of everything, we are on business for the king. Let me hear a shout, hallelujah. Let me hear a shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. First of all, drink our bottle. Doctor, I'll beat you with Anthony Tassin. Put your hand together for him. Look at the 
will raise up Jesus. And think about the mercies of God. Sometimes we do some things that if man was supposed to forgive us, they would have failed us. But God in infinite mercy have mercy upon us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
to read the scripture, but I just feel like lifting up the name of Jesus Christ. As I reflect from Sunday coming down, Sunday morning, Sunday night, coming down, and the week still is not finished. The central focus on the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What a celebration it has been. What a celebration so far. Celebrating the death of Jesus Christ. I wonder how many mothers would celebrate this morning if they lose a son. I wonder how many fathers would celebrate this morning if they lose a child. Hallelujah. I wonder how many political leaders would celebrate this morning because they lose people in their country. I wonder how many would celebrate. I wonder how many religious groups would celebrate if they lose and their God was crucified. I did some research and I came across several different gods. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I compare them with the God that I serve. In the findings I realized that out of so many gods, you have Buddha who was worshipped as God. You have here Verse 22 says, Pilate said unto them, 
What shall I do then with Jesus which is called Christ? They all say unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why? What evil have we done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person, say he to it. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. Then release he Barabbas unto them. And when he had scored Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. And when they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe, and when they had plated a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand, and they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spit upon him and took the reed and smote him on the head. And after that they had mocked him, they took the robe off from him and put his own raiment on him and led him away to be crucified. And as they came out, they found a man of Simon, Simon by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they were come unto a place called Golgotha, that is to say, a place of a skull, they gave him vinegar to drink, mingled with gall. And when he had tasted the thereof, he would not drink. They crucified him and parted his garments, casting knots, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. And sitting down, they washed him there, and set up over his head his accusation written, This is the king of the Jews. Verse 46. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, Lama Sabbatonai. That is to say, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? We say amen to the reading of God's holy word. Let me hear you say amen. amen. Hallelujah. I want to focus on three points briefly. One, facing the cross. Two, a crown of thorns. And three, a crown of righteousness. Matthew 16, verse 24, Jesus told his disciples, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself take up his cross and follow me. The cross is one of the greatest pillars of the Christian faith. Historically, presently, and for the future. It's mark, it marks the greatest historical breakthrough between the dispensation of the law and the period of grace. In other words, before the crucifixion, man had to purchase a lamb and take it to the priest for him to make a sacrifice on their 
the army. The law for some people was very oppressive because the poor would party on Saturday night or whichever night and because they had the money they would purchase a lamb and go to the priest for the priest to make an offering of forgiveness on their behalf. So the rich lives in luxury. They could sin as often as they want to. All they had to do was to purchase a lamb and take it to the priest and ask the priest to make a sacrifice for the forgiveness of their sins. The poor had it hard. The poor would struggle because the poor could not purchase a lamb and take it to a priest for God to forgive their sins. Maybe if it was in our day and time then rich people like Brother Earl and Pastor would be privileged. But poor people like me would struggle because I would not be able to find the money to purchase a lamb and take it to the priest. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so the poor would feel very much privileged. And maybe I would have to keep company with Pastor and keep company with Brother Earl so I can get at him when I am sinful to take him to the prince. But thank God who looked beyond the big bank account of Brother Earl and the small bank account of Raymond Benjamin and decided that he was going to make it neutral so that Raymond can go to God as well as Brother Earl. Hallelujah. The big bank account was not held against me. Even though I am poor, I get free access to the throne of God because of Jesus sending his son to be crucified. In the days of the Israelites, they had what they call the inner port, the inner inner port, the inner port, and the outer port. The outer court represents the flesh. The priests could not enter into the inner inner court unless he was holy. If he entered the inner inner court and he was unholy, he would be dead. Hallelujah. And so the priests have to tread carefully because if he was contaminated and entered the inner inner court, his life would be lost. There was a curtain that separates the rich and the poor. The curtain separates, hallelujah, those who are holy and those who were unholy. And so Jesus saw that the Israelites were having a big problem. He decided that among the group of Israelites there should not be any segregation. There should not be any separation. And so the Bible says that God sent his son into the world not to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. And so our sin had gone up to his 
The condition of man was messy. Hallelujah. And Jesus, the Bible says, emptied himself. Emptied himself of all power. Emptied himself of all the privileges that he was used to. Take upon himself the iniquity of man. Take upon himself the sins of man. Because he loved us so much. What a God. What a God. That emptied himself of all his privileges. Just because he loves you and I. How many of us would empty ourselves for our even our immediate family? How many of us would deny ourselves of the privileges in life for someone else to live? When I was about 17 years of age, I had a friend in high school. They diagnosed him with leukemia. The doctors had to drain all the blood from his system. And some of us decided that we were going to give blood for our friend. We went to the hospital and we donated blood for our friend. And we thought that because we donated blood for him. Then our blood could save his life. We donated enough blood to fully assist him. But yet still, he came back to life for a period of time. And after a few months, he was dead. There was no power in our human blood. Hallelujah. 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 
Roy Hodge wrote the song at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy all of the way. It must be the cross that opened his eyes to victory and deliverance. It must be the cross that revealed unto him that we who are living in Christ, even though we might die, we will rise again. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hebrews 12 and verse 2. Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the same thing, and he sat down at the right hand of the Father. Anytime Good Friday is drawing nearby, hallelujah, my mind reflects on the death of Jesus Christ. How can that man be so good that he was not sinful in himself, hallelujah, but he looked beyond his own personal gratification and saw the needs of people like me. Hallelujah. The Bible says that when they place him on the cross, out of the seven statements or seven sayings that he, he made on the cross, the first thing he said was, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they have done. Jesus was among a group that was very religious. Jesus was born into Judaism. Judaism, their entire practice was religious. If you were part of the religious Judaistic group, you have to obey by their rules. Right. Hallelujah. Jesus practiced Judaism. Hallelujah. But the same people that he practiced religion with turned their back against him. Hallelujah. He said that they forsake him. The same people that cried out Hosanna, they turned their back against their king. Hallelujah. The same religious people tell Pilate who could not find the sin in him that he should kill him. They call for his crucifixion. Pilate says, I am the governor and I've tried him. I can't find any fault in him. That says, we don't care. Kill him. The same religious group that he worshipped with in the synagogue. They turn their backs against him. Hallelujah. The same people that rule out the red carpet for Jesus. They turn their back against him. And they say, kill him. Oh, hallelujah. If you're going to deny all yourself and take up the cross, you can listen to what people are saying. Some people will say that you should stop going to church. Oh, but you have to listen to your spirit. And even if you feel like joining the toil, you have to continue to serve your God.
and they turn their backs against him. Oh, he worship with them and they turn their back against him. You cannot allow anybody to stop the progress in God. When people talk about you, still serve God. You can turn their back against you. Serve the Almighty. Serve in spirit. Serve in truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! 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 Oh God Almighty! I wonder when the Jewish blood how did they feel? The same people start mocking him. And since you are the king of the Jews, the rights of the people are empowered. And since you are here is the king of the Jews. We have him under manners. Here is the king of the Jews. Lord God Almighty. Oh God, he's so ashamed. Here is the king of the Jews. Look, people, look. The same man who said he is the king of the Jews can't defend himself. Carry a cross. Carry 
carry with dignity. When people laugh, laugh at you. So you can carry an old rocket cross. Be proud of it and lift it high. It is worth it. Somebody came to me at work two weeks ago and the says, I heard.
their moral understanding. So they do what they please. They do what they please. The church is in Jamaica. It's more than a religious practice. It's more than a religion. If the government wants to see crime decrease, send some Christian workers into the prison, into the school, to keep the abortion going. Believe me, there will be a decrease in crime. In the Cayman Islands some years ago, the government realized that crime was getting out of control. Meetings, political affiliates discussed a strategic plan to cut down the crime on the island. Board. And one person that was on the board was a Christian. And he said, send more chaplains into the schools, into the prison, and they start to send Christians into the schools to have devotion. And they had an after school conference for children who were having difficulty at home. And within one year, they saw a decrease of 38%. A decrease of 38 percent of violence on that island. Crime rate dropped to 38 percent because Christians start to visit the schools and start to pray with children. We don't come church because we have time to. We come because when we pray, our God delivers. When we pray. Our God hears. When we pray, our God satisfies. The Bible says that the place of the born of God upon his head. When this place of the born of God upon his head, blood starts to drip. And when the blood starts to drip from his forehead, Hallelujah. That blood did not just fall on him to know. When that blood fall on the ground, Israel started to experience their redemption. The blood that dropped on his face represents justification. Justification means to make it right or to be righteous. So the blood that fall from his forehead because of the thorn of God that was placed in bring redemption to you and I. There are times in life when you will struggle when God will place a thorn in your side, don't complain. I'm ready to throw in the towel. Because unless some of us get some thorn in our flesh, we are going to sleep. Some thorns are placed in our lives to keep us on track. Some thorns are placed in our lives to keep us awake spiritually. So don't complain about the struggle sometimes. Give God thanks because you're still in the kingdom. Because if some of us don't get some death sometimes, we will sleep right back out. Because some of us only pray when the time get wrong. For God, I hope it can wrong sometimes for us to go on our knees. Some of us will wake up at 3 o'clock in the night and go to the normal. But you see, when we don't know where the school is coming from in the morning, all from 2 to 4, we up and pray for God to bring a breakthrough for us. So God plays some parts in our lives to keep us on track. Hallelujah. I could remember one time. Every door up, we hear like something at your back of the kitchen. And I usually get a problem. 
Why are you teaching? To fall down. And for weeks, I get up to look in the kitchen. I can't buy nothing. No man drop. And one night I get up. And God said to me, and then the kitchen that said, on your knees, it's time to pray. And from that, me now to say, no, I'm going to get up. Once it is 2 o'clock, I mean it's the two. Let us get up. God said it is time to pray. So God will allow some of us to get uncomfortable in our sleep because He wants us to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, for the seven statements that Jesus made on the cross, the second to last one, he said, the Bible says that he look up and he said to the Father, it is finished. It is finished. Man, redemption, drop nine. It is finished. So it doesn't matter how rough the sea gets. Hallelujah. It is going to come to a point where it will be finished. Hallelujah. I'm looking forward to the day when I will look on my cross and say it is finished. Man is a redemption.
and you are drawing me to you. Call it this father, but you are near to God. God will draw me to you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. I 